this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and today we are uh, driving to Piedmont Triad International Airport to pick up a good friend of mine who, you, um, who I've talked about before on the channel, and his name is uh, Computer Kid 1416. He is coming to uh, North Carolina to pay me a visit. So we are going to uh, take this exit right here to uh, hopefully not get lost um, finding the right parking lot. Just never know about this uh, airport. I've never been on an airplane before. I don't know if I ever will or not. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we don't have too much trouble finding where he is. is in uh, overflow parking, overflow parking debt. Alright, so this is considered the airport. Uh, I should probably slow down. Okay. Hopefully I am not going to get lost. Okay. Alright, there's long-term parking over to the left. I don't think that's where he is. I'm looking for uh, overflow. This might be it. I have met Graham once before, and that was when he was at my wedding back in September. And I did, went through the same uh, process to get him. And he should be somewhere around here. I don't see him yet. Got this combed off here. And there he is. Great to see him again. And uh, I'll uh, pop the trunk. It's unlocked, it's open. Hey, hey how's it going? Hey, it's going great. I forgot my camera, so I'm using my phone. <laughs> oh, no worries. I do that all the time. Yeah. Want to buy stuff in the trunk? Yeah, go ahead. Um, should open. Hope you can get it in there. I forgot I might have a computer or two back there. <laughs> Would it be your car if you didn't have a computer in the trunk? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that thing needs uh, a lot of parts. Um, I just haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or not. That's why it's back there. <laughs> yeah, you have to have a parts machine for sure. Yeah. For sure. And we will uh, resume the video later because I got to drive. All right. Yeah. So I found this for Billy um, at Computer Reset a couple months back. This is a Gateway 2000 keyboard. Yes, I've been needing one of these. And it really badly needs retro bright. Yeah, hopefully I can get that taken care of. Um, it's kind of hard to do it in an apartment, but um, 
Maybe I can take it to my parents' house one day and do it there. Yeah, but yeah, it's, I don't know it's in really good shape. I mean, yeah, you know, a computer reset, you know, it's kind of hit or miss because some of that stuff's been there forever and gets really dirty and all that, but this is actually in really good shape. So. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's see, it should have a manufacturer date on it. Uh, yeah. August 10th, 1996. Nice. So yeah. that'll go perfect with the Gateway 2000? So. Yes. <laughs> Put that there for now. Okay, Graham is going to attempt to play uh, Game Boy Advance on my G-Pi, and I guess it, did, it didn't. It didn't work. Yeah, I forgot to put a BIOS on there, so... I'll uh, we'll try something else here. Takes a lot of... Uh, give it a stress test here and try Sega CD. That also doesn't have a BIOS, okay. It seems like I, uh, I played um, that game on here before, so it should... Uh, you know, I inquired about getting a Sega CD recently. Yeah. They've gone way up in price. Oh, good grief. She I could find like 400 bucks. Yeah, I've, I've just gotten to the point now where you're just better off emulating. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Your, your wallet um, likes it <laughs> a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's like it's working fine. Yeah. It's a good size screen for this. Yeah, and good picture on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know playing a Sega game on a Game Boy is... <laughs> right? Yeah, we'll have to um, make it happy and do a Nintendo game next. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually just playing Sonic Mania on my way over here. It's That's a pretty good modern Sonic game. Yeah, that's actually... Sonic CD this is, the, this is the first Sonic game I ever played. Mm -hmm. I got it when I was six. I played it on uh, uh, Windows. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I have it on the GameCube. It's, it, they did a Sonic collection. I had this in it. You probably tell the sound's a little scratchy. Yeah. But hey, I've seen worse in sound emulation, though, so. Definitely seen worse. Uh, Twitterman287, he's made some videos of some pretty bad emulation systems. Yeah. <laughs> but this is not one of them. Well, I guess we can get out of that. How do we get back to the menu? Uh, hold, select, and start. Okay. That seems. Hey. Intuitive enough. Let's do. Let's see. Let's do next here. Oh, I got to go to favorites menu. That's kind of nice. Uh, we'll do Game Boy because it is a Game Boy. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario Land. Kind of a kind of an obscure game, but a good one. Yeah. The the original. Yeah. The second one's definitely better. Oh, yeah, I love the second one. It's much you, more full-fledged. Yeah. I like how it emulates the um, pea soup, whatever you want to call it, display. Yeah, I know. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it goes all out. <laughs> yeah. Right. You can tell um, Miyamoto wasn't involved in this game's production because it's so different. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, died right <laughs> off the bat, okay. Uh, let's try one more here. When we go out later, you can actually, you can take that with you if you want. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not, it, for some reason, Super Nintendo uh, doesn't do as well on here. Really? Yeah, especially Super Mario Kart. A lot of the graphics don't appear right. Really? Well, yeah, I'd, that's kind of a shame. Yeah, it has something to do with the uh, Pi Zero architecture. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's this one. This that's this. That, that's its Achilles heel, unfortunately. Yeah. In fact, it uses zero. You can see down to the. Uh, oh yeah. Nothing's even coming up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Finally worked. I don't know what I did to make that happen. Okay. I start a game here. This game is actually really hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not run, running the best. Sound emulation is not terrible.
Yeah, it's definitely the frame rate's not the best. Now, games like Super Mario World, um, that runs fine on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, launch titles like that, I can imagine, are probably a lot better. This game used, um, whatever it was called, Mode 7, I think. Yeah. Called it. Yeah. And I wouldn't even attempt running N64 on this. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I think you'd kill it. I actually uh, had to overclock um, this just to get it to run pop properly with Super Nintendo. Oh, really? Yeah, so I don't know what's up with it. It's able to run, like, Genesis and Sega CD, and that's just as powerful, if not more. Hmm. All right, I know I said this was the last game, but let's try Sega Genesis, actually. I'm curious. Okay. Oh, yep, it runs uh, Genesis uh, perfectly. Do I dare try 3D Blast? You know, that's actually a really good game. It uh, is a good game. It gets a lot of... Uh, it's very underrated. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to describe it. The music's really good. I like that intro. <laughs> I read somewhere that the intro for this game takes up most of the space on the cartridge. Really? Just how advanced it is. I, yeah, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. I like you can skip that. Yeah, it runs just fine, like you said. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, well, I could sit here and play this all day, but I think that's a good kind of test of it. So, yeah, yeah thanks for showing this to me. I, You're welcome. I, um, I might get one of these sometime. Maybe wait for the hardware to get a little more powerful, but, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So we just left the uh, Lost Ark video game store in Greensboro, the, uh, which I've talked about on the channel before. They have all kinds of uh, old uh, classic console stuff from, like, NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, all that good stuff, and... Uh, well, Graham found him a uh, pretty nice little uh, treat. It was funny because not 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 a week ago, four or five days ago, I started to think about, it. you know what, I, I kind of want a Sega CD. And sure enough, this shows up. <laughs> it's only 100 after tax, about 190 bucks. And, yeah, it seems to, they said they tested it out and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to try this out. So Great. Yeah, I'm glad you were able to find that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was a good good find overall. Okay, so uh, Graham is about to try out my Gateway 2000 P590. He's been curious about this computer for a while, so now he gets to finally give it a try. Um, we got the uh, keyboard that he brought over for it. Um, we got it all hooked up. Uh, we, uh, if you want to see um, us testing it out, you can check that out on his, on his video that he's making. And so, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and power it on. Why don't you? No, you have to do the typical... Please comment, rate, subscribe. Oh, yeah, <laughs> smash that like yeah, button. Yeah. <laughs> Murder the like button. Right? Like the button. <laughs> All right, let's power it on. It's kind of a satisfying click there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, these Gateway 2000s, they mean business. Sneak peek of an upcoming video, by the way. Good old American Mega Trends. Yeah, this is one of those computers that uses the uh, dreaded Dallas clock chip. Oh no! That was a pain to replace. We uh, wound up just frying the motherboard doing it. My dad and I, and I sent it off to uh, Doll Dude on YouTube, and he uh, was able to source an identical motherboard and properly replace the chip. So. Thankfully, that's taken care of now. On behalf of Dallas, I apologize. <laughs> it's got turbo on, whatever that means. Yeah, that's a leftover from when they used these uh, cases for uh, 486s. They can just hit escape. 
Let's escape, okay. It's got an old-fashioned style uh, Sound Blaster 16 in it. Yeah, it sounds really good, and I love the wallpaper. Oh, yeah, that was on my Ant's Gateway. Nice. Let's go into the properties here. I don't know, it's always the first thing I do for whatever reason. Me too, me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 32 megs of RAM, nice. All right, we've got plenty of games to choose from here. Uh, let's see. Where's, um... Looking for something in particular. It's looking for Earthworm Jim. Is that on here? Oh, that runs from the CD. Oh, it does run from the CD. Okay, I'll pick yeah. something else in there, probably. Let's see here. Uh, we were talking about Sonic CD, so, you know, or Sonic 3 Blast. So let's try that. Oh, that's going to need the CD. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Which, well, um... <laughs> Which, I, I can get the CD for you. It's no big deal. Oh, no, that's fine. Let me see if I can find something else here. I'll try Kid Picks. No, it's not really a game, but... Yeah, I grew up on the newer version of this, the 3D one. Yeah. I don't know if I... I it may have been after my time. Yeah. But you, I'm not really an artist, so I yeah. just kind of doodle around here. I like all the sounds and all that. Yeah. <laughs> I always love this guy here. I'm way too entertained by that, okay. <laughs> I'll get out of that. Nothing more to see there. Let's see. I gotta do this, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> This should be the Gateway 2000 version, yep. Ah, oh, how funny. <laughs> Guess it's fine. This is different, okay. I'm used to the house interface. I love that noise it makes. Right. Didn't um didn't Melinda Gates come up with this idea? She had something to, she had something to do with it, I don't remember. Yeah. I thought she did, back when she was still an employee. I know that was the most exciting program ever. <laughs> calendar there. Oh, well, even more exciting financial guy. See, that that's the problem with this program. It tried to do too much. Yeah. You don't know where to start. Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So that being said, we will get out of this. I just want to leave the program already. <laughs> you can actually double click it and it'll skip all that. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I'll have to remember that. Uh, let's play an actual game here. I always love these Windows Entertainment Pack games. Oh, which one was it? Uh, Jazz Ball. That's one of my favorites here. Well, mine too. Of course, this is more of a Windows 3.1 era game, but. Huh. I'm sure a lot of people used it with 95 as well. Oh, yeah. That was a terrible score. I gotta try that again. <laughs> yeah, we'll try again here. Oh, you actually got it. <laughs> sometimes I can get them, sometimes I can't. Yeah, it seems like it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. Okay. Cool. Not out of the woods yet, though. Yep. 
Oh, that was close. Oh. Alright. Now let's play something a little more era appropriate. I think I have an idea here of what we can do. Unless it requires a CD as well, but, um. Monster Truck Madness? Is that a CD game or? Nope, you don't need it. Okay, cool. Let's try that. Is this joystick set up for it? Or? No, you can't use, use the keyboard. keyboard. Okay, that's fine. Which I, I prefer using the joystick with this game, but. Thank you, game, for interrupting us. <laughs> I'll just play as you, I guess. Uh, oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> okay, well, I see why. <laughs> I haven't played this game in forever, so we'll give it a try. Yeah, okay. I, I've never really done the drag races for, well, not often, but... <laughs> well, we'll give it a try. I'll stick with that, I guess. Okay, cool. I guess we'll give this, this CPU a real test. Yeah, it's a Pentium 90. Yep. Okay. Just hold down the... Did I already finish? Yeah, that was uh, for qualifying. Oh, I see. Okay, now it's on the roll. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Now I know what's going on. Yeah, that's a nice monitor, too. Yeah, yeah. You just never know about buying them off eBay if they're going to survive the, the, the shipping process, but this one did. That's good. Yeah, I miss when Microsoft made PC games. Me too. Huh? Okay. Well, that was interesting. I, I couldn't really figure out what was going on there, but... Yeah, I probably wouldn't either. So... Probably what I was lo looking for earlier. And you can uh, add and remove uh, like uh, competitors. Okay. I usually I always cheat and just have myself as a racer. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one. <laughs> we'll stick with just one other racer here. Crazy eight. And you can select how many laps you want. That looks hard, so we'll stick with it. Okay, let's start with that. Yeah, I've been to a monster truck rally once in my life. I used to go to it every year in uh, when they'd have them at the Greensboro Coliseum in January when I was mm -hmm. a kid. Okay. Funny story about the first time I ever went. Mm -hmm. I um, I didn't know I was coming down with some kind of stomach virus, mm. and so we got to the to the Coliseum and going to our seats. Mm -hmm. I uh, threw up all over the place. Oh, People wow. were screaming and running away. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Of course, I was only seven years old at the time. But <laughs> yeah, it seemed like kind of an overreaction. Yeah, well. Yeah. Especially for and, uh, at something like a monster truck rally, I'm sure people have seen worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yep, yep. I'm blowing this guy out of the water. Wow. Us? That's good. He 
You can hold it space bar to blow the horn. Yeah. Not for a slap, no. I think it's because I put it on Ricky mode, that's why it's so easy. Yeah. I just passed that guy up real quick. I like the narration. Me too. <laughs> yeah, apparently his name was uh, Army Armstrong, and he was like a an actual TV commentator for uh, monster trucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. I kind of got, yeah, kind of got a little off on the track there, <laughs> but I recovered. I learned to slow down a little bit on that corner. Yeah, <laughs> you don't wind up in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Was that some kind of advertisement for something, that billboard there? Yeah, I don't think it was for anything uh, real world. I think it was like a joke ad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Back when uh, computer games still had a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember the Japanese version of um, Pole Position, maybe even the original American version, had um, <laughs> cigarette advertisements. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember seeing that. Is the best time really one, one minute and 20, 20 seconds? Yeah, that was your uh, best lap. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not bad for a game from... From what, 1995? Is it? 96. 96. Okay, not bad, not bad. Also, I would like to check out Midtown Madness sometime. That's oh, that's a really good game, but that's uh, for like the uh, 98 era. Yeah, it's a little newer. All right, well, I got got in on there. All right, well, I guess that'll about do it for now. I'm glad I got to check this machine out and give it a real stress test. So. Yeah, it's a great yeah. computer. Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't mind having one of these myself sometime. Now I've got more space to work with. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I overpaid for this, but I pretty much had no other choice. Yeah. And that was in 2018, so who knows what they're going for now. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, getting ready to try the Earthworm Gym on the 822. Let's give it a try. I haven't played this game in a long time. Do you remember how to play it? I think I can remember the controls. Yeah. It's let's see, so I know that's the shoot. Mm -hmm. Left and right. I think I yeah, I think I should be able to figure it out. There you oh you can yeah, skip that. Yeah. Cool. It's good to know. Cool. Okay, yeah, pretty intuitive there. Left, right, shoot. And how do you jump? Uh. Let's see, it... I how to jump here. It's either it's one of the two left buttons. There we go. I yeah. Found it. Okay, cool. And you can yeah, you can do that. <laughs> 
still don't get used to it. You uh, whip the refrigerator. Now I'm a little more used to it here. Ouch. See how this would be fun on a console like the Genesis too? Yeah. Like controller. Of course, this is how I grew up playing Earthworm Jim, so it's more uh, normal to me. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. So, so uh, as a matter of fact, on the Sega CD, mm -hmm. it's almost identical to this. Really? Okay. Yeah. A couple of differences here and there, but for the most part, it's the same. Yeah. That's kind of how it tends to go. But I'm not used to it. That's a little bit true. Did I say that? Oh, yeah. He's right on me. Yeah, I can't really get to it though. Yeah. Oh, how do you get to that? I thought I killed you. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> so that, how do I? Let's see. You fire to the right. Oh, right, right. Yeah. And that propels you. That makes sense. Okay. That's cool. Uh, take care. Of you. There we go. Up. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta like jump while you're still on the line there. Yeah, the continue point. I gotta go back this way. Up. Well, we will get through this. We will get through this. Oh, yeah. This is your last life, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> the one I could put a cheat in. I'm good for now. Let me see if I can start trying to get used to everything. Forgetting about him. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Well, oh well, I gave it a good attempt and it beat me, but yeah, I feel like that, that's really fun. If I, I, I just, you know, play around with it a little more, get used to the control yeah. a little more, I feel like 
I feel like it's just one of those things I'm about getting used to, but that's a good game actually. Kind of wish I'd played that growing up, but I didn't really it's discover. Great game. It. Yeah, really didn't discover it till a couple years back. So, all right. Well, I guess we'll end it off here for now. All right. Well, you good? Okay, Graham is going to show us how to properly play Minesweeper. Yep, so pretty much you have to start out just randomly. There's no way around this. And then basically each one of these is how many mines are touching it. So, and, and it's kind of luck at first, but then once you get going, it kind of becomes more strategy. So, like there's two there, two there. You just keep going until you can kind of narrow it down. So you put, you right click if you think there's a bomb there, or if you don't know, you can do that. So it's kind of a puzzle. Yeah. Of sorts, you just have to kind of decide where you think it is. So I got, okay, so like I know there has to be two touching this and two touching this. So I'm going to guess that that one's shared between them. But I don't know for sure. Some some of this is luck, some of it's kind of strategic. Use that to kind of... There you go. See, that helps because that opened up a lot. So we're going to try... Let's see, so... This has to be touching... I think these two are mines, because these, these all, this has to be touching one, that has to be that. Right. Yeah. This has to be touching two. It's those two. It has to be touching, it's the only one that can be touching there. That can be touching either those two. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, it's touching three. That's the one those are sharing there. One, two, three. It's not anything. It's touching that. Just kind of narrow it down like that. So this one has to be touching this. This is getting exciting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. So it's got to be touching three, so that it's those three. It's touching two. It's touching two. It's touching that one. It's one and two. This has to be touching that one. One and two. It's touching one. That's touching one. That one there. That one there. Uh, yep, yeah, that's... And we just have to see about this one. I don't think this is a mine. Let's see. So that's touching that right there. Oh, oh no. Oh, so close. So close. <laughs> well, anyway. That's, that's the most professional I've ever seen Minesweeper play. Right? Yeah. So, the, so uh, I'm still impressed. Right. <laughs> well, so that's how you properly play Minesweeper. I probably got to be a little more careful there at the end, but yeah, that's, that's the gist. That's the best I've ever seen still. Right. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, it is actually the next evening. It's uh, Friday, and Graham, uh, how how was your day? Well, about that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we have a story to tell. You see, the plan for today was I had bought tickets um, about a month and a half ago for uh, for us to go to the. Emerald Point Water Park in Greensboro. It's the uh, largest water park in the Carolinas. Well, we got there just fine, and we went to the wave pool, and as soon as we were about to sit down, they came over the loudspeaker and said that the park was closing due to thunderstorms in the area. And so we decided um, that we would go back tomorrow, and so we uh, got a rain, got some rain check tickets, and when we got in the car in the 95 Accord, and traffic leaving the uh, water park was quite um, large, as you can imagine, with everyone leaving all at once due to the weather, and it was starting to pour down rain quite a bit. 
and we were on the little uh, road that goes out from the water park onto the uh, main road in town when all of a sudden the car behind us uh, sl slammed into our car um, he rear-ended us and it was a large it was a big jolt and we got out the guy um, I don't know if I should say this or not, was a bit aggressive, and he uh, pretty much shrugged me off, and uh, we and drove off, and uh, by the way, we are both okay, safe and sound. The 95 Accord um, survived. There was absolutely no damage other than a scratch. Yeah, I was really surprised, in a good way, of course, that, that there was not more damage. Yes, and the guy ran off. So basically, we kind of had a hit and run. We didn't even get insurance information. So he, uh, but thankfully, um, I pulled into the right turning lane. We we were both in the left turning lane. Of course, he was behind us. I pulled into the right turning lane and uh, was able to get his uh, uh, license plate number when he drove past. So I, we pulled into a nearby uh, office park and uh, waited for the uh, police to arrive and. So we got all that settled, and so, yeah, instead of a fun day at the water park, we uh, had to spend it uh, talking to the police and uh, all that fun stuff. So mm -hmm. hopefully um, tomorrow we will uh, try that again. Yeah, and hopefully that water park had cameras in the parking lot. Yeah, I hope so too. I'm, wow, I'm doing really well. Yeah, Graham is over here on the Gateway 2000 playing some uh, Tetris from the... Windows Entertainment Pack. You know, I've played so many versions of this game over the years. I think this is my favorite, actually. It's so because it's just mm -hmm. uh, for one thing, it's on the computer and it's simple. <laughs> no, I mean this game was definitely. I mean that that's where it was invented, right? It was on the computer. Yeah. In the late 80s, and so you know, it, it it's definitely it's it's made for that. I mean, I'd say a very close second would be the um, Game Boy version, the original Game Boy version. Oh yeah, definitely. But, but yeah, no, it's um. I mean, this is this is. I mean, it's really meant to be played on the computer. Yes. <laughs> and we'll see how long I can last here. I'm by no means an expert at this game, but I have played it quite a bit over the years. Yeah, I didn't know how to play Tetris until I was an adult. Actually, I couldn't. Really? Yeah, when I was a kid, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'm like that with most puzzle type games. Like another game I'm gotten into recently is um. Sudoku, actually. Oh, really? And it's um something I didn't really discover until I was an adult either. But um yeah, when I was a kid, it was pretty much just Tetris was about it for me. And the occasional jigsaw puzzle, but for the most part, just Tetris. Yeah. I was never too good at jigsaw puzzles either, though. Uh, uh, I was uh, good at the simple ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My grandfather, he used to be able to do those really, really hard ones that are like 500 pieces. I, I can't do that. Yeah, me neither. Haven't used this computer in a while, but Graham is um, enjoying some Legend 406 CD right now. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit different than my 406 CD. So. Yep, yep. Um, they had Packard Bell. Their models were just all over the place. So. <laughs> and this, I mean, it's, it goes without saying because this game is so old, but the, the emulation on this is flawless. There we go. We're recording now. <laughs> okay, I'm P. I'm B G G now. Okay. <laughs> Let's get one more play here. Yeah, I've always liked this game. I've just never been very good at it. Oh, my God. 
really cool for the nostalgia mall. Hi. <laughs> Tell them what you're going to do, Graham. All right, we're going to attempt to finally beat Road 3. It's been pestering us for years, but I think I may be on to something. It turns out certain colors of things do things. Like, I think that gave me more fuel, I believe. Let's try our theory here. Uh, no, we still ran out of fuel there. Hmm. Well, we'll keep trying here. Now can jump in time. It All seems right, like a, when it was at on like the blue tiles mm -hmm. he went to the right a little bit hmm okay so we'll see if that makes any difference oh. okay All right, we're gonna try this again here I think the blue tiles give you um, supplies like possibly fuel so let's see if that theory is correct Got more patience than I have. <laughs> well, I'm all about trying to figure this out because if we can crack the code, I think we're maybe on to something here. Still think there's something to do with those blue tiles. Me too. Because he was kind of shifting around a little bit, I know. Yeah. Okay. Let's concentrate. Oh. oh no, missed that one. Nope, missed that one. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness! Wow, and that was right there. That was that was like a slap in the face. Oh yeah. Ugh. Got a little too bold on that one. My hands are getting sweaty. <laughs> gotta I bet so. Out a bit. <laughs> oh, that turn is the hardest of them all. Yeah. Right there. I thought I had it that time. Yeah. 
Seems like it's hard to turn and jump when you're going slow. It is. You kind of have to turn first and then jump. Yeah. Too excited. Okay. Okay. Left jump, nothing gets me every time. All righty. Okay. <gasps> yes. This is all I can say. <laughs> well, I'm, my heart's still beating myself. That was intense, but man, we I, did it. I have never seen that dot next to that level before. That is an accomplishment. Good job, Graham. Thank you. You, you, Thank you've you. accomplished what I could never do. Wow. This is a historic moment, folks. And we got it on camera. Yes. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, conclude this video by uh, having a bit of a retrospective of the last uh, couple of days. Um, this is kind of inspired by uh, one of my YouTube idols, Videoholic. You see, when he, him and his friend Carrie Decker would visit each other, um, they would uh, record everything they did, like what me and Graham did on this trip, and at the end of the video they would uh, both get on camera and talk about everything they did on the trip so I figured that'd be a good idea for us to try that so um, let's see Graham came in here um, his flight arrived uh, about one about was it 12 o'clock or so yeah around 12 o'clock yeah Eastern time he landed at uh, Greensboro and of course I was still at work so I had to uh, pick him up a little bit later um, but he didn't have to wait too long. I was able to pick him up. We uh, came back here to the apartment here in Kernersville, and we uh, and he unpacked a few things, uh, settled in a little bit, and then we decided to go to uh, Monk's Cheese Steaks and Cheeseburgers in Greensboro, which um, I've talked about on this channel before. I even did a video about them about five years ago. They were, um, of course, the uh, one of the restaurants that was at Carolina Circle Mall when it was open. And unfortunately we drove all that way and discovered they were closed this week for vacation. Yep, yep. And so yep. that was heartbreaking and Graham was over here once before back in September for my wedding and he had wanted to try it out then but they were but the uh, dining room at the time was closed because of COVID-19 and it reopened this past spring and we thought this would be finally be the time when we uh, when he'd be able to try monks but alas um, it was not meant to be for this trip once yep, again it's not meant to be so um, as a plan B um, the shopping center where monks was at also had a uh, really nice Chinese buffet and so we uh, just drove over there and uh, had a real good meal a very filling meal. <laughs> yeah, that was a good buffet, actually. I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, you just never know about um, buffets, how they're going to be. And then we um, drove over to uh, Lost Ark Video Game Store, which is Greensboro's uh, vintage computer game, well, not computer game, but vid console video game store, I guess you could say. And uh, as you saw earlier in the video, uh, Graham was able to uh, 
get himself a Sega CD for just a little under $200. Um, I tell you, those things have really gone up in price, haven't they? They really have, and you know, it was so funny because like not but a week before that, I'd started to think, because I'm getting ready to set up all my retro games at my new house, and so I started to think about, you know, what, what, what comes next? You know, what do I want next? And I started to think, well, I kind of want a Sega CD. So I looked on eBay, and sure enough, they're very expensive, two to $300 a lot of times. And yeah. So to find this was, it was such perfect timing. Yes, um, and a pretty good deal, too, because mm -hmm. you, you never know about Lost Ark. Sometimes they'll have good deals, but a lot of times they can be a little bit pricey. That's why it's... To me, it's more like a, a video game museum instead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we drove over to um, the nearby Goodwill, which is the only Goodwill in Guilford County that has um, computer-related items. Unfortunately, they, they had a few things, but nothing we found interesting enough to purchase. Yeah, it's mainly newer computer stuff. Yeah, yeah, and the type of newer stuff that's really not that interesting <laughs> yeah and so uh what did we do after that we um came back um we uh did a few things uh around the apartment um we uh, spent a lot of time that evening uh introducing graham to some of my uh, vintage computer collection he uh got to see the uh 822 over here the uh spent a lot of time with the uh gateway 2000 right here he um Really like that computer. I do you? really like that one. I wouldn't mind having one of my own someday. Yeah, they're they're very tall though. Yes, they are. Yes. Of course, you could always get you a, a flat desktop model. Sure, sure. Yeah, those are cool too. And see, that was uh, that was Thursday, and then Friday I had to uh, Friday morning I had to go to work, and while I was gone, Graham stayed here and did some. Uh, videos on his own of my uh, vintage computers so once that goes live um, do go check out his channel for um, to see his take on some of my uh, computer collection and Friday Wow we uh, I, I explained the situation earlier in the video about what happened Friday when we try to go to the Emerald Point Water Park, and it, and as soon as us getting there, it closed because of uh, a thunderstorm that was uh, headed that headed that way. And then, of course, we had that uh, minor little accident in the car, which um, was that was just a mess. Yes, it was. But again, thankfully, we were okay. Yeah. And the uh, car was okay as well. Um, yep. Nothing happened to it. But that was a mess, and I told the story behind that uh, earlier in the video, so I won't repeat myself. Well, you know, though, it makes the most interesting story, though, to tell in the future. I know, I know. I mean, uh, I gotta say, this is no ordinary trip for Graham. <laughs> this is, uh, he's never gonna forget this one, <laughs> thanks to uh, the uh, events of yesterday. Mm -hmm. And on the way home, we uh, chatted um, online uh, on, our, on my phone with some of our online friends like uh, Elmo3 and the Flying Scotsman, just uh, having a good time, trying to uh, relax ourselves after the uh, little incident that had, that had occurred prior to that. And so uh, we came home, my wife uh, fixed us some supper, it was a... Uh, Really good pasta, wasn't it? It was delicious. Yeah, um, and then we, uh, and my wife, she had to uh, go take care of something elsewhere, and so we uh, spent some more time in in here uh, tinkering with some of the computers, playing some games and whatnot. And uh, I also introduced uh, Graham to the uh, Compaq Armada not Compaq Armada, the Compaq LTE 5100 that was given to me by Retro Tech Chris this past year. And uh, Graham really enjoyed using that computer, didn't you? Yeah, that was a neat laptop. Like I said, I've been, um, you know, over the last couple years, you know, just due to space constraints, I've been really more into vintage laptops than desktops, so. Yeah, that's definitely the big advantage that uh, laptops have over desktops. You can just uh, 
stuff them anywhere you want when you're not using them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and if you want to see uh, Graham's uh, impressions on that, first impressions on that laptop, um, he uh, did a video of it, and you can check that out on his channel. Mm -hmm. And then today, we um, got up and had some uh, a very light breakfast, and then we uh, returned to Emerald Point Water Park, and this time, things couldn't have gone better. Everything mm -hmm. was, uh, we got there at a good time. We got there uh, a little before they opened at 10 a.m., and we were able to beat a lot of the crowd. We were able to go in the wave pool, ride a few of the slides, and we were there for about, oh, uh, two or three hours, three hours, actually, mm -hmm. and we didn't want to stay all day, but... Yeah, the heat drains you. Yeah, and we, uh, got out of there before the, uh, right when the crowds were really, really starting to pick up. It was, uh, we didn't want to be there anymore. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I'm sure you saw some of the footage of our uh, uh, time at Emerald Point in the video a while ago. And then uh, we came back to the apartment and uh, showered and got cleaned up. And me, Graham, and my wife... Uh, rode up to uh, Mount Airy, North Carolina. It's about an hour drive from here. And, of course, Mount Airy, if you don't know, is the hometown of the late Andy Griffith. And the town of Mayberry in the Andy Griffith show was based off of uh, Mount Airy. And they got all kinds of little shops, souvenir shops, and restaurants. Went to a really good uh, old-timey uh, drugstore with... Um, with uh, burgers and fries and malts and shakes. Yeah, that was a really good place. I like that. Yeah, it was a good place. Um, Graham got him a couple of souvenirs. Uh, we went to a replica of the Mayberry Courthouse. Graham uh, did some video for his channel. You can check that out when it becomes available. And then we uh, came back um, to Kernersville went to a uh, brand new Mexican restaurant. I'm not really into Mexican food, but I'm. But thanks to my wife, I'm starting to uh, acquire a taste for it. <laughs> well, let me just say that it, it, growing up in Texas, you know, I, I if, if anyone were to be critical of a Mexican restaurant, it'd be me, because that's pretty much a, del a delicacy where I am. But let me just say I really, really enjoyed that. That was probably in the top five I've ever been to, actually, so. Yeah, it was really good. Some of the best salsa I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Then we uh, came home, did a few more computer things. Graham, he <laughs> he accomplished what I've been trying to accomplish for 25 years. And you got to see it in the video a while ago. He mm -hmm. actually beat Road, Road 3 on Sky Road's Christmas special. Yep, yep. That was quite the drilling rush on that one, but... Yeah, once you uh, once you get that strategy down, you know, I, I would think, you know, I always thought it was just a straightforward platformer, but it's actually got a lot of strategy to it. Yeah, it's, um, like I said, the first two roads on Sky Road's Christmas Special are uh, very straightforward, easy to beat in no time, but once you get to Road 3, the the difficulty ramps up to 11. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. And so, um, I might do a video at some point of me trying to beat Road 3 now that I, now that Graham has figured out how to do it, so um, we'll see if I can finally do this after 25 years of trying. And so that's pretty much it. There, we are going to do a few things uh, tomorrow, which um, probably will not be on uh, video. Um, Graham might do some video on for his channel, but I'm going to end my video here. Um, so Graham. Uh, did you have a good time in North Carolina? I really did. I really did. I, um, you know, getting to meet you back in September was such a blessing. And, you know, the fact that I get to come back is awesome. So let's make this an annual thing, shall we? Yes, definitely. We're going to have to do this again next year. And, uh, and Graham, you know, you're always uh, welcome here. You had, um, you're fun to be around. And um, I had a good time uh, hanging out with you. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's, it was a good time and couldn't have asked for better. So. Yep, you know, I've known this guy for 11 years. Yeah, hard to believe. Yes. <laughs> when I met you, I was still in grade school. So. Goodness. <laughs> it's, we've both come a long way since mm -hmm. then. I. Yep, <laughs> yep. So, uh, Graham, uh, 
thank you for everything. All right, you're welcome, and I um, will look forward to seeing this video when it becomes live, and be sad to go tomorrow, but this will not be the last meetup video, I assure you guys. Definitely. And so, um, I'll, go, I'll go ahead and end things here on my video. Again, you, um, if you want to see some more of what happened on our trip, on, on Graham's trip, I mean, I, I, I didn't go anywhere. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> um, do check out his video on his own channel. Yeah. And so, until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. And this is Computer Kid 1416 signing out. <laughs> Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.